Well, now that you know how to float a flat floor, I'd like to spend a little time and explain some of the details that go into doing a sloped floor. And that's the reason why I built this mock-up of a shower. It's cut off about 12 inches above the floor. And it has some of the details that I feel are really important and contribute to a durable, trouble-free installation. The heart of any sloped shower floor is the subdrain. And this one has a number of features I'd like to point out. First of all, it comes in two halves that allow it to clamp over the pan material. And it's done so by these three bolt holes. These three holes right here are what's known as weep holes. And they allow any moisture that gets underneath of the tile and through the grout joints to flow back into the drain. Now I hear a lot of complaints from homeowners who talk about their white grout on the shower floor being continually dirty in spite of their best efforts to clean it. And one of the main reasons for that is because the weep holes have not been given a chance to work properly. In order for that to happen, the pan has to be sloped so that any water that gets through the tile or the grout joints and into this mortar bed, it has to have an opportunity to run into these weep holes. And if the pan isn't sloped, the water just sits there and stagnates and causes discoloration. And the easiest way to slope that pan is to float a sloping mortar bed on the subfloor. And that's the reason why I've nailed in these ledger strips. They'll provide the correct amount of slope to the drain that I need. Now let's get the deck mud in here. The mud I'm using here is the same deck mud I used for the flat floor although since the cross-section is slightly thinner, I'm using a little bit wetter mix. That way it'll spread easier around the thin spot around the drain. Once again, it's a question of distributing the mortar, compacting it, and then screeding it off. Before I can start screeding, I need to first expose the tops of the ledger strips. Now, I arrived at the height of the ledger strips by taking the recommended quarter inch per foot of slope and translating that out to the distance farthest away from the drain frame. Thus, by using a variety of different length straight edges, one end held against the ledger strip, the other end held against the drain frame, the entire floor can be sloped. Once again, after the straight edge work is through, the steel trowel or wood float is used to clean up the excess. As a final step, I use the wood float to provide a smooth surface and eliminate any low spots between the perimeter of the shower and the drain.